I own a lot of real estate, more than I ever thought I would own. And that is because of these moves that I've done and the focus on control because control is freedom. What is up hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto. We hack all of our Bitcoin and Web3 education. If you guys are brand new here, I cover all the basics of crypto and welcome to the channel. If you hit that like button, this gets out to more people and spreads the network. And on this episode, I'm going to be going over some of the key fundamentals about exit strategies when it comes to the crypto space. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research. But I have been in the space for 10 years. I've been in for a decade. I've seen a ton of bad things happen to investors, companies, everything, just seen it all. And I wanted to share some quick tips with you guys. And first and foremost, it's important to remember that this is an asset that you're investing in and you need to take into account your family, what's best for you and what's best for you at every chapter of your life. Everyone is different. When people are out there buying huge hundreds of millions of dollars in their corporation, that is not an individual that is buying that. There's conviction behind companies that are buying slugs of Bitcoin like that. But it's very important when they tell you, hey, don't sell your Bitcoin, don't, don't get rid of it. It is not up to them to tell you what to do. They're buying it through a legal entity that is their company that has tens of millions of dollars and having a wealthy person tell you what to do is basically the opposite of what the crypto space stands for. It stands for you being self-sovereign. It stands for you being in control. And the first point that I wanna cover here is control. An advisor and a mentor of mine many years ago told me control is a dirty word. And it is true. Control equals freedom. There's different levels of control. And I'll start this by talking about the assets that people put their money in. People park financial value in different assets. And when you're working a wage job or any, any job you're working out there, it is vital to get control over the course of your life by investing money in assets because you're working, getting money and everything like that, paying for your lifestyle, unless you invest in assets, you will not be free. You will not get control of your life. If you're just consistently working on the, on that sort of hamster wheel going round and round and round, the investment is key to break that cycle and to offload that pressure of the rat race. One of the coolest sayings out there in the crypto space uh, was from Jameson Lopp, I believe. And it was OGs aren't measured by the amount of Bitcoin that they have. It's the amount that they've lost. <laughs> and this is so accurate in that over the last 10 years, you know, I have seen people come in and out of the space the ICO craze that brought the Rolex wearing Ferrari driving, you know, affiliate marketer kind of people coming in by storm and just scamming left and right. And that was a, a very tumultuous time. It was crazy. The 2017 cycle, the 2013, 2014 cycle was pretty grassroots. It was kind of cool. A lot of libertarian people coming out, talking about it. And it was a very fun cycle. 2017 was a little bit the opposite. People were getting in trouble. It was just kind of a crazy situation where celebrities were getting involved and it was just a mess. And then 2021 came around and that was when NFTs really blew up. A lot of really cool, creative people came into the space and artists and musicians and really cool pieces of technology were getting used and innovated on. So this time around, everybody talked about it the last couple cycles, last three or four cycles. And they said institutions were coming, but they weren't actually in mass coming. This time it's different. ETFs were approved and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars every single day are flowing into Bitcoin. And this has never happened before. It was always claims. There was always like people talking about how the institutions are here. They're buying quietly in the background, but this isn't quietly now. This is in the forefront. They are buying hundreds of millions and you can see everything out there with these ETFs that are just absolutely vacuuming up all of these supply. When you have stocks, when you have crypto, what's vital here, if there's one thing you take away from this video, other than the control equals freedom piece, is that you cannot control the future value of Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana or any Matic, any of these crypto assets. You have no control over that, absolutely zero control over that. Some of these institutions may you know, have some control over that, but you don't as an individual. So taking profits and selling today to make your life better or at any point over the next year, five years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever, at any point, when you need to sell to better your life, make your family's life better, that point in time where you are selling that, you need to make sure that that is to do something that's in your control. And a great example of this is rental real estate, buying real estate or dirt. 
because I'm not making any more of it. It is finite. And if you are able to do that, rotate the funds out of crypto into real estate, Mark Moss does a great job talking about this, basically buying real estate, physical real estate that you can touch that produces cash flow and income that you can increase over time, you have control. You have a lot of control actually. So that is one of the only mechanisms where you have true control because you're controlling the amount of income coming in. Same goes with, you know, buying a business. You can buy an online business, a physical business. And as long as you're able to control what's coming in and increase over time, you aren't going to get inflated away and basically have taxed away situations. So the opposite of this is buying something like a primary residence. Now that is of course a key fundamental to making your family's life better. So take this as I, as I'm about to say it, buying a primary residence is key and fundamental to having a financial foothold in the world. So the issue though is taxes. Let's say you buy a piece of property in a new city. You move there with your family. The next month, the mayor is uh, voted into power and they want to build a whole resort or they want to build new streets. They want to build all these incredible things to make the city futuristic. Those taxes just ratcheted up that you have to pay on that property. The next year goes by a new mayor comes in or in the next couple of years, a new mayor comes in and they say, you know what? I think we're going to increase property taxes by 10%, 5%, whatever it is that just keeps gradually going up. And if it's not producing cash flow and you can't control cash flow that's coming in, like for example, on a primary residence or a piece of land or something like that, that's not flowing money into it uh, or a business, you have a issue on your hand because you're getting taxed away. You're basically getting shoved out by taxes. And of course, pay all your taxes, do everything you can to make sure that you're following all the rules. Always do that. Don't listen to anybody that says otherwise. It's just not, not how the world works. So Bitcoin, real estate, and some top crypto assets like an Ethereum that are scarce, they're burning their supply, they're getting shorter or smaller. These are things that you need to be focused on over the next decade or 20 years. And you need to be really laser focused on where the control point is, where you have the most control over. And right now you have no control over the future value of crypto assets. So if you sell a company stock that you own company stock at a company you're working at right now, if you sell that today and then it's worth $100 million in 10 years, what matters is what you did with it today. So if you moved it into a commercial real estate deal, probably not the best idea right now, but move it into a residential deal, any re rental property that is going to produce you income or buy a business that's going to produce you income, those moves, you know, even if it's not worth $100 million in the future, if it's worth a couple million dollars in the future, what you have done is you've taken control, you've shifted control into your own hands. And something that happens in the future is out of your control. And it's important to know that from this whole video that you're watching here is get your hands on everything, get your hands on as much as you can and control as much as you can financially. And to do that is more valuable than any future upside that you could think about that people are going to talk about and people are going to project out based on all their fancy graphs and everything like that. Whenever you see people out there with posting their PL uh, profits on Twitter and people like that, it's very important to tune that out because those people are not only like doxing their earnings to all of the uh, agencies out there, which is f f really a wild, wild, wild thing to witness, uh, but people just sort of sharing all their earnings out there, uh, people photoshopping earnings, just crazy stuff. Whenever that starts to happen, you know that euphoria and sort of a manic time is, is coming and it's only going to get more intense. So it's really good to tune all that out, figure out your goals as a family to better your life and figure out control, how you can get freedom through control and selling today, selling five years from now, whatever, getting control at any moment over the next 10, 20 years of your life to better your family, to get their future set up, to make sure that they have wallets and everything set up with crypto assets in the future. All of those things are, are fundamental to everything that you're doing right now. And if you're watching this all the way through, congratulations. If, you've, if, you, if you're in the space right now, you are early, you've front run all of the largest institutions in the world. And I've been saying this over the last 10 years, and it's just a very rare opportunity where you get to front run Wall Street as an individual. And I think it's a beautiful thing. A lot has really happened over the last 10 years, and I'm excited for the next 10 to see what happens and seeing how people play these different run ups 
and a lot of real estate moves because control is freedom. So that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this sort of high level concept. This is things that have been taught to me over the years from high net worths, very well-known investors that see sport in investing and just the, the mental fun of doing these things. So I hope you guys like it. Slap a like on this video, be subscribed with notifications on, and I will see you on the next episode here on Hack Crypto.